Hi everyone, Linda here with you again from Gunlet Lane Jewelry. Um, today we're going to be working on another cuff bracelet. It's not a cufflet, it's an actual cuff bracelet. It's not the one that um, I showed you in the, the last video, which is this one. It's not this one. I'll do this one at a, a later date. Um, I wanted to give you something a little bit different. So this is what we're going to be working on today. So if you'd like to learn how to make this particular cuff bracelet, then uh, just stay with me. All right, I'll see you soon. Okay, welcome back. Um, okay, so I'm demonstrating this one in an 18 gauge. This is just a piece of uh, gold craft wire. Um, so I've just cut off a small piece because once again, this is one I could not manage underneath uh, the camera with the actual wire um, for the bracelet. So we're starting off with this. I'm just going to grab my six step pliers. Now, this is going to turn out obviously smaller because I'm using a lower gauge, a higher gauge wire. So uh, you just have to imagine that this is, you know, the um, uh, 14 gauge that the original is done out of. So, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> Okay, so we're just going to make a loop. Just bringing that around so it touches the wire like that. And then from here, this is just all freeform. You do this any way you like. You know, it's, it's, make up your own pattern as you're going along. So I'm just going to start off with a small loop. So I'm using the, the smallest uh, mandrel on my pliers. And I'm just going to wrap a loop like that. Bring it all the way around. It's very hard to control even this small piece of wire. Um, yes, yeah, so bring that all the way around. And then you just, just you know, as it, I'm just thinking of a pattern as I'm going along here. So go the opposite way. And don't worry how it's looking to start with because you can straighten it all up at the end. So if you if your um, loops get out of whack, don't worry about it. You know, you can do all the straightening up later. Um, I can come up to a bigger one now. Okay, and then I'll go a couple of smaller ones, small, more small, a couple more small ones. Here and bring my wire around so I'm not even moving the mandrel on that one. And bring it around and see how that one's sticking up. Don't worry about it, you can even push it down now if you want. So just you know, whatever you feel like doing. Now, you've got to think. I'm not going to take this as long as what it should be because this is a smaller wire. If this was a 14 gauge wire, I'd probably have a piece about that long by now. So, um, yeah, you just have to imagine that, you know, this, this is going to be for a small person. <laughs> okay, so I'm bringing in now my, um, I don't, I can't even think what these are called. Wrap and taps, that's it, got it. Oh, wrong, wrong way around, Linda. And I'm going to, well, I had it the right way to start with. Bring that one around. And then go the opposite way. Oh, wish I could get my act together this morning. I just can't get my brain and hands to work in uh, sync together. Okay, a couple of those. 
So a couple of you asked me about my <laughs> terrible, mentioned my terrible week I had last week. I won't tell you the whole story, but I'll tell you how it ended up. Like the icing on the cake that topped it off for the week. I had to go to the hospital for my um, uh, echo uh, cardiogram thing on my heart. And uh, so I get to the hospital, go into the car park, and uh, we'll, get, we'll get to where I normally park, which is right out front of the the part of the hospital where I, I needed to go. So all I had to do was park my car, uh, walk across the pedestrian crossing, go through the front doors, walk about 10 metres up the elevator, um, and up to the fifth floor, and I was there. So I get to the car park, they're doing construction at the um, at the hospital. So um, they've got half the car park where I normally park blocked off. You, you can't get through for, for the workers that are doing the work there. And so the other part, the other half of the car park was full and you couldn't get in, which meant I had to go and park a long way away from where I actually needed to go to. So I have two bulging discs in my lower back. So anyway, I've, got, I've parked my car I got out, got on the elevator, gone to the floor that I needed to go to. Then I had to walk probably, I'm going to say it was, and this is inside, inside the building. This is how big this hospital is. It's absolutely huge. Uh, probably a kilometre, a kilometre and a half to where I needed to go to get in the elevator to go upstairs to where I needed to be. And there was next to no seating anywhere along these long corridors where I could sit and just relax my back for a minute and my, like my legs um, jam up and uh, yeah, it's just, <laughs> I was in so much pain by the time I got to where I needed to go. Anyway, I, I did all that and I managed to get back to the car park. And do you think I could find my car? I couldn't remember where I'd parked my car, what floor I was on. So I was going up and down inside this lift trying to, um, Find, find the floor where my car was parked. I thought, if they're watching me on those closed circuit TVs, they're going to think I'm an absolute crazy lady. I eventually found it, but, oh, jeez. And, I, I and then I got down, I got in my car, got down the bottom to where you, you go out and you put your ticket in to pay, uh, to pay for your parking, and my ticket wouldn't work. It was faulty. Oh, it's just, I thought, well, that, that was it. I was just like, and it was a very hot day. And um, and I'd been sitting there for a while waiting for the person to come and help me with the ticket, and uh, I would like had my window open so that it didn't have the air conditioning on, and I was sweating, and uh, yeah, eventually when it was all fixed, I got in the car. I just had the air conditioning blowing full blast, and I was just shaking like a leaf, and all I wanted to do was go home. I was just um, uh, beside myself. Anyway, that topped off my week, so I've done enough talking. Sorry about that. Okay, so you can see I've been working along just twisting the wire as, as I've been going. So say that's pretty much the length of my bracelet there. Well, obviously now I would just do a loop. And cut that. Cut that loop off there. And finish off my loop. So then, you know, just imagining that, that that's a long bracelet. So you know, you could put more more uh, swirls in. You could do whatever you like. So that's the base of your bracelet. So now I would take another piece of wire and leaving a um, an edge and, and making sure that you flush cut it. So leaving a um, enough to do a couple of wraps and just using smaller pliers this time. I wouldn't use the wrap and taps. It'll make too big a loops. Just going to make, again, any kind of pattern in loops that you want. Just using different sizes on your, um, on your mandrel. Something like that. 
uh, next mantle size up. I'm gonna go this way. like that make a smaller one now if you like <clears throat> I just spent that spin that whole wire around I just can't get my hands and my brain to coordinate today goodness what's going on with me so a smaller one there and you can come up to a, a really large one here if you want small one see so make sure that this piece of wire is long enough mine's not going to be I just use the scrap piece so I cut off okay so say that's as long as what you want what you want it to do to do is now imagining this is the end of your bracelet here and I've got one here that I can uh, okay this one here um, so this is a full size one but this is just done I think I did this in 18 gauge this was just like a practice one so this is your full size and just imagine it's flat like that as well you'd bring it into you don't need to take it all the way to the bottom it's just going to be something that sits on top so you're going to bring it in over the top of your other ones and then this one would come over here further so that when you've got it on your wrist <coughs> excuse me You've got it coming from here and it's going all the way over to this side here okay so this is your pattern moving across like that over to here and then when you got it over to here obviously this would be the end of it here and this is where you attach it there so you just find somewhere where you can wire wrap that on and somewhere you can wire this one on over on this side here and that would be longer there obviously that piece of wire to make it easier for you to work so you've got just this little extra bit sitting across the top okay so we've got that and um i'll just get my uh, full piece ready the proper piece ready and i'll get back to you so before we move on to the next part i almost forgot this bit um we're going to do some hammering so you know you this is on the 14 gauge wire but i'm using my demonstration piece here so you can hammer you know your end loop there obviously and then just look for any of the ones that aren't uh crossed over like this one's crossed over here so i wouldn't hammer on that one um just leave that one alone if you've got a bigger loop here you can hammer on on this side here of it but don't hammer where the where the wires are, are uh, doubled up so just move on to the next loop and give these as much as a hammer as you want like uh, get in there to that one there which is a little bit hard on this piece and then on these ones the bigger ones here I would give those a good hammer and spread them out as well so running your hammer outwards if you can see that I'm going across like this so I'm spreading it and then do the same on the one on this side turning it around and just continue on like that so that you uh you know you get to the nice hammered part on it and do these ones up here as well and finish that one as well and then do the same thing on your piece that you're attaching to the top so go through and you know, hang, hammer all the single loops not the double ones so go through all of them like that so that when we attach them you've got you know that little bit of um extra interest uh to it um was there something else i wanted to tell you about the, what i did no i just then I obviously attached this piece to that piece and then um move on to the the next section which is coming up in a moment okay i'm back with the um the piece that we're going to be working on so we made the frame and i made the 
the top frame as well and as you can see this is where I've attached it here and over here so I've just wrapped it around the one time and that's pretty secure and as you can see it just adds a little bit more interest and uh, uh, I don't want to say the word bulk but yeah just a little bit more interest so now we're going to grab a piece of 22 gauge wire and you can make this as long as you want and you'll see what I mean in a moment so I'm going to grab a piece this long and cut that now I'm not going to measure this for you because as I said you can make it as long as you want but I would go at say at least um, two feet to start if you um, a minimum two feet all right, and we're just going to find somewhere to attach it on, and I'm going to do that here. off here just grabbing a pair of pliers to help me oh goodness I just don't have I, every time I do a video I have something wrong I just can't my hand eye coordination and Everything is off today. I'm tired of complaining about <laughs> crap that happens to me. Goodness. All right, so I'm just going to cut that. It's just so funny that you can sit here and work all day long and not have these problems. And as soon as you turn a camera on, Anything that can go wrong will go wrong. Murphy's Law. All right, I'm just going to bring that around one more time. Just so I've got it up over the top. And I haven't got that tight enough. I'll tighten that up in a minute. I'm not going to um, make you watch me do that. Okay. Just grab that where I want it to be. Now here. Well, now what you can do with this wire too is you can... Um, and it all depends how easy you find it to work with. You can put bends in it to start with. So just going along, putting, you know, little kinks in your wire before you start wrapping like that. That's not very good. Get a few more in there than that. You know, like really sort of kink your wire up. And this is where, the, you know, whether you can handle... Uh, weaving twisted wire through your project or not or you can twist it afterwards it's totally up to you so that's one little bit twisted i just wanted to uh, say that to you because it when it's pre-twisted it does give it a totally different look um more so than just twisting it afterwards so if you want to just do a little, like a little practice piece and see how you manage it um whether you like it or not uh totally up to you so we're just going to get those out of the way. I'm just coming through finding gaps. I don't want too big a stretches of wire before I come up. Yeah, so get that wire twisting thing a go, just as I said, on a practice piece. Okay, I'm going to come around this side here. And because it, this is overlapping here, I'm going to come up through between those two wires here, if you can see that there. Come up through there. And then find somewhere else to go down. Uh, I'll come through this one. Oops. And you can wrap 
around. You don't have to wrap around if you want. You can just weave up and down and in and through. Um, just, you know, it's all totally up to you. I'm just, um, you know, giving you some guidance. And then back down through that one. there and then I'll come across through here So I've also got to tell you about a really nasty comment I had. I've removed it, so um, don't go searching for it. It's not there anymore. Um, I had this, uh, I don't know how old she, I was trying to sort of pick an age. She didn't have a photo or anything on her, um, you know, avatar thing. Uh, I've got a feeling she was only fairly young. But anyway, um, a comment about my drawing <laughs> I don't even know how to say this there was I, I was just gobsmacked I just so I didn't I didn't even know what to say it like well, I didn't answer her back anyway obviously I just let it go but um yeah that my jewelry and I'm going to use a, a nasty word here my jewelry is shit and um they used to make that in the uh, in the Girl Scouts, which we call the Girl Guides here. But anyway, the Girl Scouts, um, when she was a kid, and they used to sell it for a dollar. And uh, uh, she said something else. I can't remember now. It, uh, it was just, I couldn't believe it. I, <laughs> anyway, stop talking, Linda. But that's like, I just, the... I could not believe that somebody could even bother to to put. Uh, it just blows my mind that someone would, you know, be so horrible. All right, so this one here, I'm just I'm going to wrap around this one here. I'm trying to think of the all the words she said now, and it's just. Um, I think I might have tried to put it out of my mind. That's why I can't remember it all. But I, like, I don't get nasty comments usually. I mean, you know, I've had um, uh, critical well, uh, critical feedback is what I would call it. And it's just general things like, you know, I'm off camera or um, uh, I don't leave measurements down in the... the uh, description part things like that but actual nasty comments no I've never had one in two years it's come 22nd of March it'll be two years since I put out my very first uh, video and yeah I just couldn't believe this person I uh, anyway enough of that I'm it, it just upsets me to think about it <coughs> I just want, would love to know what uh, Girl Scout has strong enough fingers to do this kind of wire working and uh, why they'd be teaching it in Girl Scouts anyway and uh, and then selling it for a dollar. The You know, your supplies would cost you more than that. All right, so I'm, I've come down to where I've uh, attached that on there. So I'm just going to come around. I'm not going to worry about this side down at the bottom part. If you want to go down there, you can. I'm, I'm not going to worry about it. And I'm just going to try and fit this in between a gap if I can get my... No, I can't get that in there. So I'm just going to go around. Just bring that back up. I want to come in from underneath this time, so I'm going to come in this way. Just 
and I guess you realize by now that uh, our videos are going to be on Mondays. That was the majority uh, vote. It was like 70% to 30%, something like that, of uh, subscribers that said Monday. So it'll be on a Monday. I suppose it really doesn't matter that much because most people, you know, I mean, anybody can watch it any time they want to. Anyhow, so it's just people that wait for a video to come out. I know there's people that do that. They look forward to that day of the week. and But I wanted to give you all an option to pick a day. Okay, so as you can see here, I'm just winding this in and out, not paying particular attention to where it's going. Just, you know, it's sort of distributing it out. Uh, I don't want to say evenly because I don't do anything evenly, really. But, you know, pleasing. So when you look at it, you think, well, that's got way too much on that side or that's, you know, not enough there or whatever. Um, yeah, so just stop every now and then and have a look at it. And see where you think you might want to go. Okay. So I'm going to come over here and go under there. And what this is doing, uh, for those of you who, who don't, uh, or are just starting wire wrapping, and you're wondering why I'm doing this, it's... Um, it's for two reasons. It's for um, aesthetics, so that it looks nice, a um, bit of interest in it. And also, too, it's just uh, holding everything together so it's all going to sit flat. So when you're wearing it and it, if it gets caught on something, nothing's going to pop up or pop off or, you know. Um, so it's serving two purposes there. So this one I'll wrap around. Come back up through that same loop. And just make sure you pull your wire in nice and tight. I forgot to mention that as I'm going along. So, each, you know, each time you loop around, pull it in tight. Each time you stretch it across, pull it across tight. And I'm going to go down through this one. I just realised this is probably the... In this video is the most talking I've done about myself in any of my videos. I don't usually talk about myself very much. But I just had to get it off my chest. Uh, my week last week and then um, that horrible comment. Uh, like what a way to top your week off. Uh, you know, not well, that wasn't topping it off. That was sort of the beginning of it, actually. My topping it off was car park mm. that one too i thought just what else could go wrong in my week anyway this one's been so this week's been so much better so <laughs> this is where i didn't finish that's what this here is where i didn't finish it off before but as i said i'm going to tighten that up I'll do a little bit now, but tighten it up properly later. Still have to get that little bird to go around underneath. There we go. I think that might be pretty tight now. Okay, so here you can do, you can go wherever you want. I'm going to come up through here. And I'm just going to... Like, I'll, I'll stop in a second and come back because I don't want the video to get too long because we've still got more work to do. Um, so as I said, depending on how long you've uh, cut your wire and how much you want to... Oh, I didn't get that in very well. How much you want of the, this 22 gauge through your piece... See, it looks quite nice like that with just a little bit. Or you can just keep going and, you know, put as much wire. And you can also leave it as a, just a wire bracelet. 
All right, so I'll finish up doing what I'm doing here and I'll come back to you when I'm ready to move on. Okay, so I'm just gonna, I've just come up to the end here and you know, I've finished my wire, I've got that much left. So I'm just going to finish the wire off just by wrapping it around a couple of times. that wire and tucking it in bit of a tight spot there to get that in there it's tucked in nicely and then just tidying up those wires Now we're going to grab a piece of uh, 24 gauge wire. Now, as I said, you can leave this like this um, totally. And uh, I'm going to do this. And I, I just forgot then. Do this anyway. But um, if you're going to leave it like this, I would uh, mesh your wires up a little bit more. So just getting in there and twisting, which is also going to help tighten them. And bring those back together again. <coughs> <coughs> So get in there and give them a twist, adding extra interest and tightening those wires up. And just going along double checking do the same thing on the back give them a twist to tighten them not so much for the look but to tighten them up because <coughs> even if you think you've got them wrapped tight when you you know you're wrapping uh yeah they can tend to loosen up as well so i love doing this part this is my favorite part I mean, just love making the wires look all wild and okay so that could be your finished piece i mean once that's um oxidized and uh you know cleaned up and polished that could look beautiful just on its own so if you just like to you know let me pop, pop that on just like a wire piece on its own and the beauty of this too is you can um you know squash it into you fit your wrist so that's what it looks like just as wire and I'm going to grab the 24 gauge and again this uh, I would do roughly cut off two feet to be on the safe side and it, again this just depends um, how much of what I'm going to do next you want to add to your bracelet but I think the three gauges of wire just look uh, beautiful together so at least two feet maybe more just depends I mean the piece if you cut three feet and you've got a foot left over then you can use that on something else and I'm just going to grab I've got some little three millimeter beads here or are they four millimeter I think they're three millimeter yeah three millimeter beads here um, I'm going to use more than this this is just to start it off and I'm just going to have to stop for a second so I'll come back in a moment Okay, so I'm back, and uh, while I was off, I just attached my 24 gauge wire to the end, and I did it at the opposite end to where I attached the um, 22 gauge, just so I didn't have so much, uh, you know, attaching points on one end of the bracelet. So, have I got this? I think I've used a. Did I use a 22 here? <laughs> I think I might have. 
doesn't matter i've attached a 22 i meant to do a 24 but okay you can do either 24 or 22 silly me okay get on here come on guys so I'm, I'm attaching two you can you can do you know whatever you like one two three whatever this is just going to make it harder for me to wrap using a 22 so I'm just popping those in there and then I'm just going to go wherever I want and come up through here come around that wire one more time straightening my wire out and attach two more beads you can put these as close together or spread them out as far as you like come on guys come down and pop those where I want them to sit more like that I think and then bring this wire up somewhere, just wherever. And bring that around and back up through again. Just coming through wherever you want to. up two more bringing them down the wire and finding a place for those to sit they could sit in there and I'm going to wrap that wire around that little part there and bring it back up this side and I just have to stop for a second guys and close my door Dave's just come back up from the farm and he makes an awful lot of noise so I'll be back in a sec Okay, sorry about that. All right, so I've wrapped around there. I'm going to pick up two more um, of these. Uh, what are they? These are the yellow turquoise. They're faceted, which should uh, catch the light nicely and uh, give that little bit of sparkle that we all like, or most of us like. I can't believe I picked up a 22 gauge wire instead of a 24. Anyway, so be it. Okay, now deciding where I want to go. Yeah, I think I'll go there. Just remembering to keep your wires straight. You don't want any kinks in it. So holding your beads where you want them to sit. And trying to move them if they don't sit exactly where you want to sit them. There you go, that's better. Okay, where am I coming from there? They're not sitting exactly how I want them to sit. This 22 gauge wire is not quite as flexible as the 24 so okay I'm going to come up through here all right they're sitting all right now and I'm going to go down here in between those wires I 
and come back up again. along a little bit deciding where I want to put the next lot of beads I want them to sit right there yeah okay and don't forget if you put them in a place where you don't like them you can always uh, just unwrap your wire and move the the wire to where you want it to go See here, do I like that or not? See now I don't. So I'm going to take those off. And I'm just going to wind my wire over again. Wrap it, I mean, not wind it, wrap it. And then come up through here. I think there would be a better place for them. <clears throat> See, now I can decide whether I want to go that way or come around that way. I think that way. All right, after I wrap this on, I'm going to stop the video again and I will continue on the end. I think you've got the idea of what I'm doing. And then I'll come back when I'm ready to move on to the next stage. All right, so you don't need to see me wrap this. I'm just going to wrap this on somewhere. So that's what it's looking like so far. Just a little bit of color in there. If you like that, as I said, leave it plain if you don't. All right, I'll come back when I'm uh, finished down to the end here and we'll continue. Okay, I've come down to the end here and uh, added my last two beads and I've wrapped around and under these uh, 22 gauge wires running that way. I'm going to wrap around those again. bringing my wire up pulling that in nice and tight and over one more time and up again down with my wire I just remembered too when I was telling you about the car park incident at the um, hospital um, the car park that they divided in half for the workers was only half full well not even half full actually it was actually quite empty and that was something that really ticked me off I mean you know like they probably only needed to designate maybe a dozen parking spots not like the 50 odd that they had uh, barricaded off that you couldn't use you know because you had to put a, a card or whatever swipe a card or whatever to get into that part of the car park now I was just amazed you know there's so many people that go to the hospital that uh, you know can't walk or you know maybe you, if they walk too far they have a heart attack or something like that and uh, yeah, they and th for this particular car park because it's right at the main entrance, and that's where everything sort of branches off in the hospital, and you know goes up and whatever. 
and they chose that particular car park. I couldn't believe it. So anyway, you could leave your bracelet like this if you like it. Uh, you know, just with the just a few beads like that. Or you could jazz it up a little bit more. And usually, you know, in most cases, more is more for me. I'm going to use some of the chip beads since I've been doing a chip bead thing over the last few weeks. And I just want to add a little bit more colour in there. So I'm just going to pop one in the middle and find somewhere to... I could, wrap, I could wrap around there and come up over the other side if I wanted to. Or I could go down in between, which is what I'm going to do. Like that. And then bring my wire around. I'm pulling it nice and tight. I'm not going to put one of these chip beads in. You can if you want. You can put one in between each one of those gaps. I'm just going to pop one in here and there. So I'm going to bring this wire around. And come up somewhere. Making sure you get that in nice and tight. You don't want any big loops of wire popping out with the catch on things. So then I'm going to come back up again. Easier probably if I go down and then come back up. Um, now where to go I'm going to come down through here and I'm going to wind that around the back and come up through this loop here pop one on there this is a place to use some of your bigger chip beads Making sure he's sitting in place where you want him to sit. And I'm going to come up through there. twist my wire there and feel that wasn't right. And just feel and make sure they feel that they're sitting nice and firmly in the piece. And come down through there. on this other side and then down through the center of this one
This would have been so much easier with a 24 gauge wire. This uh, 22 gauge is getting quite work hardened. Getting into the side of those beads. Don't want him over the top. I still don't know how I picked up a 22 gauge. I've got them all marked with, uh, you know, like what gauge they are on them. <laughs> Oh uh, well. Picking up another one. Okay, I might as well stay with you and I was going to stop and say I'll come back when I'm finished, but I might as No, I will. I'll stop and come back when I'm finished. So you get the idea of what I'm doing there. Just adding in a little bit more colour and a little bit more texture and a bit more height. So when I've um, finished that, I'll come back. Okay, I'm back with you. So I've just added on my last uh, chip bead here and I made sure I had an odd amount because I like odd amounts. So I've got five on there and I'm just going to finish that off now. Get my chip bead to sit where I want him to sit. Holding on to him. And I'm not going to wrap around both these wires. There's a gap there. So hopefully I can fit this 22 gauge. I know a 24 would fit through there uh, easily. But I might have to help myself with the pliers to get this 22 gauge through there. I just didn't want a big wrap around, uh, you know, two lots of wire. Oops, get in there. <laughs> uh, okay. Stay there. Thank you. <laughs> there we go. And we'll just do one more for good luck. Get in there. There we go. Squish those up together. I'm going to go through one more time so I can cut it um, between the wires to uh, hide the tail, hold the hide the um, the burr. There you go. Now the hardest part is going to be cutting this, obviously, on the on the piece. I have to get down inside there. There we go. And then tightening up those wires. Pushing them together. Okay. So that's our bracelet. As I said, there's you know three ways you can put that together. You can just have plain wire. You can just have, you don't have to put two beads, you can put one bead if you only want a little bit of um, bead work on it. Or you can uh, go more like I did. So I'll pop that on. And as I said, you can um, mould it into your, to your wrist. But that's what it looks like on. I like it. I, I love it actually. I think it's beautiful. And you know, you... Uh, depending on your age and what you like or who you're making it for you can make this as big as you want you know they can wear it up here they can wear it up the top around their arm you know the your upper arm um 
I wouldn't make it for down on the wrist down there. I think that would be very uncomfortable. But again, that's your choice. And just, uh, yeah, mould it into your wrist. So let me know down in the comments what you uh, thought about this bracelet. Now, I know I didn't show you how to mould this one into a shape because I showed you that in a previous video. The last one, I'll leave a link down below for, the, for that so you can see how to do the, um, the moulding of the shape of this particular one. But I started this off pretty much all flat before I shaped it and uh, did that where I just started with the 22 gauge and wrapped before I put the beads on. I did all that flat and then I shaped it and went through, once it was shaped, I went through one more time with the 24 gauge, uh, 22 gauge wire um, to help it stay the shape that I wanted it to stay that bit there's a bit loose I'll tighten that up in a minute you can just tighten that up you know you can go in again now and tighten that there that's already tightened it up tighten it on the back you know just go through again and tighten all those wires that we've added in with our bead work making sure that everything is sitting nice and firm and twist up those uh, any wires that are sticking out from your uh, bead here because most of those will look straight so you can just go in and give those a twist to just you know uh, blend them in with the rest of the twisted wire work and here you can give them a twist as well anything you see that's straight that you know would look better if it was twisted so just going and giving those a twist I think that looks pretty good and then don't forget to do your back as well and you know just tidy up you can you know squish wires together if they look if it just looks too too messy but it's the underneath of a bracelet so nobody's going to see it when you're wearing it anyway and as long as it's not sharp or anything like that you should be fine um so as i said leave me a comment down below uh please don't forget to like the video and uh we'll be doing our giveaway next week i still haven't decided on a piece so that'll be uh, a surprise or haven't decided on what i'm going to give so that'll be a surprise for you next week i'm going to see another straight wire there see i just get so critical i just look, keep looking at pieces and uh keep fiddling with them um i think that's all i want to say giveaway uh yeah that's it all right guys have a good week and um i'll see you all next week bye